Hello YouTube, Moody here, and for the first time ever I'm making a tier list video on my channel to try to help out and guide you against the current Spiral Abyss in 2.4. This will not be the typical tier list we all know and usually really hate of ranking DPSs, support DPSs and supports and whatever. It's a tier list to show you what the best units to use against each chamber of the Spiral Abyss in Floor 12. Uh, all of this info is gathered from my own testing, playing against the Spiral Abyss, and from what I've seen of others like clearing it with 9 stars. Uh, now let's get to the disclaimer. This is not a tier list to deter you from like pulling for the character that you really like. It's just there to guide you to know what's the best to use in each chamber. And it's also a tier list that is uh, directed at free to plays and low spenders because we all know whales can use whatever the hell they want and they're gonna get their 9 stars. This is how it's gonna work. I'm gonna do a tier list for each chamber, so 12-1, its own tier list, 12-2 and 12-3, since you can easily reset and keep doing it until you get all the stars. Obviously, this is something that not everyone is gonna like to do, but yeah. Let's start with 12-1. Uh, 12-1, we have the Mechanical Array and the Abyss Pyromages. This is the first tier, trash tier, don't even waste your time. It's not gonna work. It's only gonna be painful for you to to try to do anything so yeah just skip it in the t tier those characters can work but they're just like a pain to run against the first uh, first floor so don't even bother with them in the c tier those characters can either help their teams be really good as like we're talking about goro and albedo for the geo team and uh, official rosario for any physical teams clee can easily carry She's not the best at doing it. Jean and Sayu are like glorified DV users. And uh, Sara, if you only have C6 and like have a Rising Shogun on your team. And now for the A tier. The characters in here all can clear the 12-1 really easily and help out with it. So we have Ito and his Geo team. He does amazing against the Mechanical Array. So does Zhao. I personally did it and have videos on it. Zhao can easily deal with the Mechanical Array no problems. Yula works against the Mechanical Array, but I wouldn't personally recommend it because of the high physical resistance. So she can go to 12-1 second half. Shangling teams in the International, National, and Raiden National, she's still one of the best DPSs for 12-1 first half. Zhongli is obviously a really comfy the character to use, so yeah. Shinha is going to help out a lot in 12-1 second half. So is Diona. And Sucrose is going to help out in Zhao teams and uh, national teams. She can easily also group up the second half of the 12th one against the dogs and the mages. For the S tier, all of these characters in here will easily carry you in the abyss. No problems. Obviously, Bennett, best character in the game. We have Ayaka and Ganyu for the second half. They can like destroy it without any problems. Kazuha can easily go in the first half or second half, depending if you need them for uh, the freeze teams or like melt teams with Ganyu, or if you just need them to uh, buff up your Electro or Pyro characters. Yoimiya destroys the Mechanical Array, so she's she's awesome against it. Raiden is insane against it as well, either in the national team or like uh, her hyper carry. Hu Tao has no problems with the Mechanical Array, and Venti is really good against the 12-1 uh, second half. The characters that we must have here are really needed against the uh, Pyro Lector because he has a, a really annoying shield to deal with. You can deal it deal with it without having any Hydro character, but it's it's a pain. I've seen people easily, and I've personally done it with uh, Ito or like any uh, Cryo character, but this makes it so much easier. So try to have one of these characters to deal with them, and uh, you should be good. Now for 12-2. In 12-2, we have the Pyro Primo Geo Bishop in the first half and two Abyss Heralds in the second half. As you can see, just don't even bother with these characters. They're not going to help you out too much. C tier, if you're playing a uh, Hu Tao team, Amber can be useful. Shielder build on Jinyan, she can be useful in 12-2 uh, first half. For the B tier, Goro and Albedo are pretty good with uh, an Ito Geo team, so yeah. Uh, well built Kaching with a Bennett and a Kazuha can definitely clear 12-2 against the Primo Geo Bishop. Jean and Sayu are like just your VV setup. Yunjin with Ayoimiya is pretty good and for Klee and Diluc they're not gonna deal that much damage especially against the uh, 
Pyro Prima Gia Bishop. Now for the 8th year, all of these characters in here will help you out in one way or another. We have Zhongli, and they're not ranked like exactly how they should be, but Zhongli, Toma, and Yanfei, Yanfei at C4, are really helpful against the uh, Pyro Primo G Bishop because they they can technically take 30% away from his health because of his uh, Pyro Showers and when you like counter it with a shield. Yula, Yoimiya, Hu Tao, all of them can take care of him, no problem. Diana is definitely going to help you out in the freeze team in the second half. Shengling is still one of the best DPSs even against single target enemies, especially if you're playing her with International or uh, Raiden Shogun. Zhao has no issue dealing with the Primo G Bishop. I've done it and like I have a video about it. He can deal a lot of DPS even if it's not AoE situation. Rosaria is going to help out a lot if you don't have a lot of uh, Cryo characters to deal with the Heralds in the second half. So with Kea, Shen has amazing in the Cryo teams. Sing Shou is going to help out your uh, Hu Tao or Yoimiya with, the, uh, with their Vaporizes and can also help out in the second half if you don't have anyone to initiate your freeze to get rid of the heralds because like they move a lot. Mona Kokomi obviously in the freeze team. Venti can easily uh, group the heralds, so does uh, Sucrose. Ito is obviously one of the best DPSs in the game. He has no problem clearing the Primo Geo Bishop in his Geo team or even the heralds even though the team doesn't have any freeze to deal with the, their shields but he can still easily do it. Uh, Fishel has a lot of DPS, a lot of single targets. She can be easily used with Eula, and Sara can be used in a uh, right and carry teams. For the S tier, again, we see the the trio that never leaves it: Bennett, Kazoha, Raiden. Raiden can run her hyper teams against the Primo G Fishup. I personally cleared it with the hyper team, hyper carry uh, Raiden. It works just fine. You can also use the uh, national team. So with uh, so is Tartaglia. He's amazing against the uh, Primo Geo Bishop with the international team to clear it. And now for the must-have characters. These must-have characters are slated for the second half. Ganyu and uh, Ayaka can easily deal with the first half against the uh, Primo Geo Bishop. But they're more needed in the second half where you have to freeze the heralds because they move too much. And if you have neither, Chung Yun can help you out easily without any problems. Now we get to the real deal, 12-3. The real hard part of the abyss. <laughs> so let's get to it. The first half we have the uh, Ruin Guards and Ruin Graders, two of each. And the second half we have the most annoying character in the game, Mago Kenke with over 2 million HP points. First tier, none of these characters will offer you any help, so just skip them. In the C tier, Kea doesn't really do that much. Um, Toma, Yanfei, C4, and Amber can be used in a Hu Tao team, but yeah, if you have them built, go for it. I wouldn't personally recommend it unless you really need to use your Hu Tao as a DPS against Simago Kinke. Razor works, but yeah, he's trash. <laughs> in the B tier, you can use Noelle in a uh, in the first half, no problems. In a Geo team, she works just fine, but she doesn't really offer that much DPS. Uh, almost everyone here can easily be used without any problems. Venti doesn't really offer that much, so does Sayu, it's like just VV, but all of these DPSs can easily do the uh, first half and the second half of 12-3, uh, but I don't really recommend it. Sarah is obviously use it, used with uh, Raiden. Uh, Lisa is used with the uh, Yula team if you want to play it. Now for the A tier, all the characters in here can easily help you out with the um, with clearing the Abyss. And all of them can work just fine in either chamber, the first half or the second half in 12-3. They all can deal with the Ruin Guards, Ruin Graders and the Mako Kenki, no problems. Now let's, uh, let's look at the, the S tier. We have Bennett and Kazuha, no explanation needed. Uh, Ayaka is insanely amazing against Imago Kenki. Raiden is uh, insane against both halves. Ito is definitely one of the best characters to deal with the Ruin Guards and Ruin Graders in the first half and can easily take care of the Imago Kenki no problems. So is Zhao, but I would play Zhao against uh, the Ruin Guards instead of the uh, Mago Kenki. Kanyu, either played in a freeze team or a melt team, can easily take care of uh, both halves. Hu Tao is insanely good against the Imago Kenki, obviously. And so is Yula. Alright, that's the end of the uh, tier list. If you disagree with me, 
uh, tell me down below and tell me why exactly you disagree with me. If you want me to run any of these teams that I talked about and like show you how exactly what I've, what I've said can work in the uh, real abyss, I guess, but tell me down below. If you enjoyed the video, I would really appreciate the like and uh, maybe subscribe. And I have a lot, a lot of videos showcasing whatever I, I just talked about. And yeah, have a nice rest of your day.